What's going on, you guys? It's Jesse Lyon, Chief Dream Scientist at Dream App, and today we're reacting to something special. Coca-Cola Dream World. You all have been sending me this nonstop, saying, Jesse, I need your take. What's the deal with this? I didn't even know it existed until you all pointed it out. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna give a little taste test. We're gonna talk about taste in dreams and if that's normal. And if you taste in dreams, is that okay? And uh, maybe some other fun things like a, uh, like a froth test. We'll see which one explodes more. But stay tuned, we're gonna jump right into it and uh, see what's going on with Coca-Cola Dream World. So before we get into the taste test, I thought it was interesting. Uh, I bought a regular Coca-Cola and then the Dream World Coca-Cola because you might think that they're the exact same, but they're actually different and this surprised me. So they're both 90 calories, not that you should be counting your calories, you're beautiful and you should love yourself. But uh, I did think it was interesting. It has one gram less sugar in the Dream World Coca-Cola, 25 grams of sugar uh, per serving in regular Coke and 24 grams per serving in the Dream Coke. But it also has less sodium, 30 milligrams of sodium for regular Coke and 20 milligrams of sodium for Dream World Coke. So less sugar, less salt. We'll see what it's all about. See what it tastes different. But uh, just wanted to point that out. I thought that was strange. I thought they would be the same. They just added a flavor, but I guess it is slightly different. So let's throw these in the fridge and uh, cause I'm not gonna drink warm Coke. Ugh. Here we go. So I've got regular Coke and Dream World Coke. And we're gonna see what the difference is. Coincidentally, they are the mini cans, because it's all I could find inside of Publix. And that means that they are 7.5 fluid ounces. This is like the size of my unborn baby. How cute is that? <laughs> Joy pointed that out before I started recording the video, so I thought I'd bring it up. Okay, well, here we go. Let's uh, try it out. Here it is. It does have a much fruitier smell, right? Is that just me? Oh, I don't have a little. Yeah, this one smells fruitier. Is it almost like citrus? Yeah, it smells kind of citrusy. Now right, let's find that. Uh, let's find out. Looks the same color. Uh, this one. Is regular Coke fizzier? Maybe, perhaps, perhaps. Okay, so regular Coke, just to remind myself, right? Not as spicy as the one at McDonald's, but regular Coke. <laughs> and then Dream World flavor, all right. It's pretty good, but I don't, it's definitely got a fruit sort of flavor to it. What would you call that? I'm notoriously bad at describing flavors, but it's almost like I heard someone say blue raspberry to me. And so now that's stuck in my head, but, but I don't think that that's wrong. I think blue raspberry, you might be on something here. Yeah, it's not cotton candy. It looks like it would be cotton candy, but it's not cotton candy. It's like blue raspberry and maybe a little bit of citrus. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Do I like one better than the other? Um, you know, honestly, if I like was, was going to be served uh, a Coke, I would want regular Coke. It's not that it's bad. It's just like, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the fruity flavor, you know, like tried and true regular Coca-Cola, maybe the way to go, so. Yeah, I'm going with regular Coke if I'm gonna have something with dinner. This has got too much, um, too many different flavors in it, I think. If you're gonna like have it with something, like eat it with something, this adds like a whole nother set of flavors, so. Like I couldn't imagine this going well with like a cheeseburger, you know? Because it's got like fruity flavor in it, so like fruity cheeseburger, you get what I'm saying, right? Okay, but we have other tests, so let's get to those right now. All right, I think it's pretty good. We can put these back in the fridge. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. So my personal thought is we need to test which one explodes bigger. <laughs> because dreams can be explosive, right? So it should be bigger. 
Uh, but more than anything, I just want to find out. So I suggest that we will shake both of these. These are the ones I dropped. You can see I, I, me <laughs> I, I messed up that one. Uh, we're gonna shake them for I think a, I think a good minute, maybe two minutes, and then we'll we'll test it out. All right. So I'm gonna leave it rolling. Here we go. Number two. <laughs> okay, here we go. How are we gonna test this? Twice as explosive. <laughs> Whoa, it got everywhere. <laughs> Cheers. Well, we've shown that dreams are more explosive than just your regular everyday life, but dreams, will they go further? We'll have to find out. Regular first. You gotta have the sample size. We get so much judgment on the internet. I don't want to hit a house. <laughs> don't hit a house. Why did you hit a house? I was throwing Coca Cola cans. Okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. Confirmed. Your dreams will take you farther. Nice job. That was pretty good. Wow, that was, that was pretty gnarly, dude. Woo! Well, that was wild, but it begs the question, and the one that you all have been asking me, if dreams had a flavor, did Coca-Cola get the flavor right? Well, it's an interesting question, and I actually did some research and I thought quite a bit about it. If dreams were to have a flavor, what flavor would it be? And the interesting statistics are that most people don't taste in their dreams, so dreams really don't have a flavor. If I was going to say like a flavor, I would think that it would taste like nostalgia, because dreams usually deal with the past and thinking about your history and stuff that's you know, pertinent to what you're going through now, but based on your past life experiences. Most people, like when you record dream content, really about 1% of dreams even mention like taste and food, things like that. 33% of men report having had at least one dream where they taste and 40% of women dream or report having a dream that they had a taste in. So most dreams overwhelmingly do not. Now, I have a theory about why this is. Most dreams don't have flavors because it's a little bit too literal. Flavor and taste is something that we experience throughout our day and it's a very literal thing. Dreams are metaphorical. They're telling a story, they're dealing with emotion. Flavors aren't very emotionful. <laughs> emotionful, is that a word? Dreams and flavors, well, they're not very much related to emotions. It's like taking in food. Vision and hearing and experiences are very much related to emotion, which is what your dreams are trying to communicate while you sleep. So dreams are flavorless, overwhelmingly. Now, the dreams that I have seen in my practice are people will dream about vomiting and throwing up. So that's not a really great flavor. And if you have dreams about vomiting and throwing up, it's you trying to get rid of toxicity in your life. Think about when you have you know, food poisoning or some kind of gross thing inside of your gut, you know, you'll have these dreams about vomiting for the same reason that you do in real life. There's something inside of you that needs to come back out. You need to get rid of that part of yourself, that lie, that toxicity inside of your life. And so a lot of people who are in toxic friend groups or like maybe some bad relationships, they'll have these dreams about vomiting because they need to get that false belief about themselves or that bad relationship out of their life. So uh, 
would dreams taste like vomit? I would like to think not. If they did, uh, I'd like to think it tastes kind of like this, like blue raspberry, sugary fun, hype, caffeinated. I like that idea, but hey, you be the judge. Let me know if your dreams had a flavor, what would they taste like? Uh, I'm curious to see what the comments have to say. So dreams, yeah, they are what they are. I don't think they really have a lot of flavor <laughs> because there's not enough metaphor in flavor to really communicate what dreams are trying to communicate to you. So pay attention to your dreams. And if you want to know what they mean, download Dream App and I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what else you'd like to react to and I'll do it in the next video. Take care. Bye.